El Paso, Texas, immigration and customs enforcement officers released hundreds of migrants Wednesday night at a downtown bus station, bringing the number of people released this week to more than a thousand. Local nonprofits that assist the migrants said this time they were given some advance warning of the drop-offs, unlike over the Christmas holiday, when I stranded hundreds of people in the cold, including young children, with no warning and no plans for accommodations. Immigration activists say the drop-offs were part of the Trump administration's deliberate strategy of sowing chaos at the border as a deterrent to asylum seekers. This is Dylan Corbett, director of the Hope Border Institute, an El Paso-based charity that assists migrants. La mayoría de ellos ni siquiera saben que no están en las manos del gobierno ahorita. Aunque nosotros somos una organización comunitaria, no saben. Hay que decirles que ya no están en la detención, que ya no están con CBPOIs. Entonces, eh, no saben nada. Entonces, eh, necesitan información, necesitan informarse. Eh, algunos ni siquiera saben que, que están en el paso. After headlines, we'll go to El Paso to speak with Dylan Corbett about the Trump administration's immigration policies.